Hey guys, welcome back to another all new episode of Cam's Corner. I'm your host as always, Camden Revere. I'm here in Boston today to teach you about the boomerang serve. Now the boomerang's a bit of a controversial serve, especially amongst the pros. We aren't even sure if we're actually allowed to serve it in matches or not. There's a bit of a gentleman's agreement not to serve it, uh, but over the last few years that's come into question a little bit about whether or not the serve should be allowed or not. So that's why I thought it'd be fun today to break it down, explain to you what it is, how you can do it, and let you make your own decisions about it. Now, for those of you who don't know what a boomerang serve is, a boomerang serve is a serve that, come, that you hit much like a bobble from the front of the court. It's gonna hit once on this side penthouse. It's then going to hit the back penthouse, the hazard back wall, and then come back and hit the side penthouse and run flush with the hazard back wall. And what's so controversial about this serve is, is not that it goes flush necessarily, is the ease with which you can hit the serve to get it flush. Because it doesn't require a lot of spin or anything like that. You just need to be on the right court, a court that takes a grip on the penthouse so that the serve works, and you have to pitch the ball to the right spot. So it's a very repeatable serve, which is what makes it somewhat dangerous. The other part is that because of how the ball is bouncing, remember it's going side penthouse, back penthouse, back wall, and then side penthouse again, it can come quite deep in the court and be nearly impossible to take at any other moment, making it almost unreturnable to the point that your only option would be something like a back wall boast. Uh, and that's where we kind of get a bit uptight about it, whether or not it's allowed or not allowed. But it's a serve, legal in our game, that anybody can do. And now we're gonna take a look at how you can do it. So as you can see, we've now hopped over to the service end where we can actually start to break down how to hit this boomerang serve. So as I said, it's gonna be much like a bobble and we're actually gonna go over this for right-handers and for left-handers. But for right-handers, we're gonna use pretty much our same bobble swing where we're coming inside that ball, nice and easy, lifting it onto the penthouse. The big difference is where we pitch that ball. So for a bobble, we want our first bounce nice and short, rolling and creating that U shape. For the boomerang, we actually wanna pitch that first bounce very deep on the penthouse, almost to the point where it's getting to that back penthouse first, because we only want one bounce on the side penthouse. So if I were to give you a spot, I would say you want it to bounce just past the winning gallery, about halfway up the penthouse. So halfway between the bottom of the penthouse and the side wall height. That will then allow us to hit one bounce on the side penthouse and hit halfway up the hazard, back, hazard penthouse to create a bit of a lob effect off that back wall to come back flush. So let's take a look. So as you can see, I pitched that ball to go one bounce on the side penthouse about halfway up. Right, that's allowed it to then carry momentum into that back penthouse, into the back wall, creating a nice big loop effect back onto the side penthouse that has run flush with that back wall. One of the other major differences you'll notice is where I'm standing. For our bobble, we generally stand a little bit deeper around last gallery, but for this serve, we've moved up to yard, about yard better than second gallery. And this angle is gonna change depending on the court, and this serve's not gonna work on every court. It happens to work somewhat well here in Boston, which is why I decided to bring you this tip today. But you ha may have to vary that position depending on the slope of the penthouse, grip of the penthouse. Now, if you're left-handed, we want to do almost the exact same thing. We're going to stand in the exact same spot. The only difference is that, yet again, remember with that right-handed, we're using our bobble motion coming inside with our elbow in tight. So to recreate that for a lefty, we almost have to hit more like a railroad where we go around the outside of the ball. If we come inside with our elbow, we're gonna be creating the opposite spin that's gonna carry that ball away from the penthouse and make this serve not work. So we wanna think about more of a, not yet again, not a ton of spin, but just making sure that we come around the outside of the ball. If anything, we just wanna hit flat through it. But yet again, the important part is hitting our spot. Just past last gallery, halfway up. So let's take a look at it left-handed. So 
You can see I'm coming around the outside a little bit just to make it stick on that penthouse, but it's more about my placement of that first shot. Now, you may not feel comfortable bringing this shot out in the match. Uh, if you do have any questions about it, feel free to ask your professionals. I just wanted to give you all the information I could on it because it is a legal serve in our game, and that's not something I take lightly. So, hope you've enjoyed. See you guys later.